Well, hello there, it's Greggy Soriano, and welcome to another episode of Greggy's Digest. If you're into satisfying cake decorating videos just like this, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and ring-a-ding-ding that little bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. Today we're going to do a floral arrangement in buttercream flowers in a canary yellow and a mauve-ish orchid pink with some gray tones and some peach tones as well as some black and white. And I'm going to teach you how to do some brush stroke painting with buttercream right onto the cake. You're gonna learn all these tips and tricks right here today on Greggy's Digest. Oh, and I have a really exciting announcement to make right at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around. First, we're starting off with some parchment squares, a rose nail, and some orchid mauve-ish pink in a number 104 tip. And right here, we're going to create a fantasy-like large flower that is really blooming and beautiful with tons of ruffly movement. I kind of want it fairly larger than most buttercream flowers that I make. And I'm going to make it very simple as far as the amount of flowers I'm doing because less is more sometimes and I just really want to focus some attention right onto these flowers so take your time on making a gorgeous flower because it's one of the very few flowers that we're going to put onto the cake so we want a gorgeous statement piece right in the center. Now I'm doing a second layer of petals right on top of the larger ones and I'm doing it in an odd number because with an odd number it just there's always a center to it and it looks a lot more beautiful that way. With a number one tip in gray you want to create your center of the flower and we're creating some stamens with a number one in a white and I'm going around and on top of the little ball that I made and now we're creating a little seedling type of um, stamens and making little dots in a gradient effect along with dots in gray as well. Now I'm grabbing a number 81 tip and a canary yellow and the way I made the canary yellow is that I used some lemon yellow with an itty bitty little eeny teeny itty bitty short shorts no just kidding um itty bitty dot of leaf green and that's what creates it to be like a bright beautiful striking yellow Avoid putting too much leaf green because it'll just turn too limey and too much on the green side. You want to keep it on the yellow side, so yeah, they call me mellow yellow. As you can see, we're creating a chrysanthemum, and the way I like to do my chrysanthemums is I like to have little stragglies that are kind of long and kind of have a little bit of movement to it because I just think it looks a lot more beautiful that way and it looks a lot more natural. And right here we have a number 104 tip in gray and we're creating some leaves in gray. I know it sounds weird but we're creating a monochromatic color that um, will go with our brush strokes that we did. So I don't want to put any green leaves. Be sure to always make extra flowers just in case and put these in the freezer to chill. You're going to need a 6 inch round cake by 5 inches in height and a 4 inch round cake 5 inches in height stacked right on top of it and they're doweled and they're securely stacked right on top of each other. I've crumb coated and completely covered them in a black American buttercream and a white American buttercream. And I'm what you call Filipino American buttercream. <laughs> Get it? Filipino American buttercream. <laughs> Any hoodle, I have a number one tip in gray. You could use a number two or three. It just all depends on how big you want your stroke is. Or you could just use a tiny itty bitty number one tip and it's all with the pressure when you um, put some pressure on it. But yeah, I'm creating some brush strokes and I'm doing it in a gray and black. 
and I'm just creating an S curve um, along the entire cake and I'm doing a lot more in the center with bigger pieces in the center or bigger brush strokes in the center and I'm going smaller and creating a gradient effect as I go out. You want to create some contrast and texture and by doing that you want to avoid just going vertical but you want to go horizontal as well. Also add some itty bitty brush strokes and some dots as well as some lines just so that it looks a lot more interesting. Alright you guys I'm going to shut my little bokeh and let you have your own little cake decorating moment so I'll catch you in a little bit. And there we have it, our canary yellow and mauve brushstroke cake. So I told you guys that I have a very exciting announcement to make. Can we get a drum roll please? Brrrr. I'm going to launch my very own edible paint collection where you can paint right onto cakes cupcakes, cookies, and all these different pastries that you can pipe your little heart out on. And they're also going to be in my very own signature colors. Please check greggysoriano.com or my social media regularly for the official launch date, which is coming out really soon. For more video tutorials just like this, be sure to visit my featured channel by downloading the Darby app. Click right on my face to subscribe, click on the video to view my last episode on the right, and get your subscription to Caker's Crate at greggysoriano.com.